Truly good design should never let you down. The new beautifully engineered Audi SQ5. This little stool might look like an innocuous child's seat, but the way that it's produced potentially represents a complete revolution in the way that we design and manufacture our furniture. I've come to the hub in Westminster to meet the designers behind Open Desk, an online open source platform that connects designers with makers all around the world. So Nick, what is Open Desk? What's the project about? So Open Desk is a website which uh, offers designer products that can be downloaded and made anywhere in the world. Mm. And the way that happens is using uh, digital technologies. So things like 3D printing and laser cutting are what most people sort of tend to think of. Yeah. But this particular technology is called CNC milling that involves cutting out uh, sheet materials like, in this case, plywood, mm. um, using a computer-controlled drill. You're starting with a, with a computer model mm. of a 3D object, which you then have to interpret into two dimensions almost before it comes back in something that can be assembled. And that's yeah. a very interesting design problem. Yeah. At the moment, one has to make a choice between, say, entirely bespoke products made just for them as one-offs and mass-produced products typically made where the land is cheapest and the labour is cheapest somewhere on the other side of the world and then shipped large distances. Whereas with new technologies like digital fabrication, it's actually possible to not only make things close to home, but simultaneously to, to change them, to, to have things customised and personalised case by case. So how did the design for this EED store come about? I've been designing furniture for a while with my brother. Right. Um, we started out designing sort of larger pieces and then we got a very special client, my niece, who's uh -huh. a two-year-old. And okay. we liked the idea that the assembly would also be quite playful. Not quite Fisher-Price, but <laughs> getting towards that sort of, not uh -huh. something just slotted together and click, clicked into place. Okay. Easy peasy. That's a lot simpler than Ikea, yeah. isn't it? <laughs> I think the most disruptive idea really behind something like Open Desk isn't even about the technology per se. It's actually about the social process that one's unlocking, which is more about the experience of, of engaging in the way your products are designed and made. And in some ways that's akin to buying your groceries at a supermarket, for example, versus buying them at a farmer's market. We're trying to say that although the technologies are pervasive to some extent, the individual pieces made case by case on demand by real people who you can actually see are very much personalised to you. I mean, ultimately, is, is it more of a political project? Is this a kind of anarchist furniture movement, in a way, trying to topple the, the centralised industry? Or is it actually about the, the objects themselves? I don't think we're trying to be anarchists. <laughs> At least I hope we're not, not yet. Um, I think particularly, as I say, because we are interested in what the affordances of these kind of technologies are, yeah. what we're really trying to do is just open a new door. And that door doesn't necessarily have to um, subvert the existing market mm. for particular types of products, but it does potentially present new opportunities to do things slightly differently. Mm -hmm. You know, the extent to which that will compete or not remains to be seen. Sure.